Okay, we're back and let's do some animation. Um, you may have noticed me talking about the pen and that's because I have a, uh, a tablet computer with an actual pen that I'm making with the, this with. But you can, of course, use a mouse. And when I talk about the alternate key, uh, that is basically any key on the keyboard. Uh, you may want to use the space bar. That's probably the easiest, but any key will do. So to draw, we just draw with the pen or mouse. And if we want to select something, we press down a key to get the lasso and then circle it. And uh, then we can manipulate that object, move it around or whatever. OK, I'm going to get rid of this using undo here and let's go ahead and animate the car so we'll use the alternate key get the lasso select the car and uh, now we we've selected it and to animate it let's move it while holding down the alternate key so uh, the 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 selection point turns red to indicate we're going to animate it and as we drag the object across the screen, the border glows red to show that we're animating. So we've created an animation. Let's tap this rewind button here and just see what it looks like by clicking go. Okay, good enough. Uh, let's uh, undo to get rid of this animation and let's do something a little more complicated. Let's add a hill in the road. Just draw it in here. And now uh, alternate key, lasso, select the car again. And this time when we animate it, we'll drag it by what I call the leash section here, because it follows more like a dog on a leash. So alternate key, let's animate. We'll drag the car over the hill. And we're done. Let's um, unselect the car. Rewind key and play it back. OK, let's rewind. And let's add to this animation by having a plane fly overhead at the same time. We'll make the plane blue just for fun. Tail, wings, pretty simple. Now let's uh, press our Alt key and select it. And let's just fly it across the sky. And we can watch as the um, the animation head advances down here so that we can synchronize it with any animation we're already doing. And so the car goes at the same time and we can try to keep things in synchronization. And we did pretty much. So let's uh, unselect, uh, rewind, and play back the animation. Okay, notice the animations are overlaid down here. So we have uh, two tick marks corresponding to the, the two animations that we have. And uh, if we want to select a particular animation and manipulate it, the way we do that is by reselecting the object. Here we go, Alt key. And now its animation is highlighted. So if we wanted to speed this up a little bit, we can uh, click and drag. And we'll have the animation take place in about three seconds instead of six. And we're now at the point where the car is halfway over the hill, but the plane is all the way across the sky. So let's uh, unselect that and rewind and look at the result of our manipulation plane goes no, much faster now. Unfortunately, it just pauses when we get to the other side, but you can fix that. 
Um, I hope this gives you the general idea that when we do multiple animations uh, they're le overlaid and if we want to select a particular one let's select the car animation this time. Again click and circle it and now we see that highlighted down here. For our next trick let's duplicate the animation that's shown uh, on the video at the uh, KSketch website. Let's uh, first of all draw a ramp. We'll make it blue this time. Now let's draw a green wheel on the ramp and put some spokes on it. Now let's add some animation. Uh, press a, a key to get the lasso. And now let's just uh, animate it by moving it down the ramp. Again, the Alt key, uh, the, uh, the selection area lights up red, and we'll just drag it down the ramp. Okay, that's a little over a three second animation. Let's um, unselect the, the wheel. Let's rewind and see what we have. Now suppose, uh, as in the, um, the K-Sketch uh, site demonstration, we want the wheel to roll down the plane. So let's, again, Alt key, select, and now let's add a rotation animation and try and make it roughly the same length. Again, Alt key, and let's turn the wheel around. Okay. There we go. That was a little longer than we wanted. Unfortunately, my my tablet is a little bit slow, so the the motion I'm seeing here is jerky. So let's rewind and replay it. And unfortunately, the rotation has um, replaced the motion down the ramp. Now, in their demo, uh, the uh, function we're looking for is in the menu down here, but that has been changed. What we want to do is um, go back, go up here and click Fix Last Operation. So let's click on that. And this gives us an, uh, some optional interpretations of what we're trying to do. And what we're trying to do is have the wheel roll at the same time that it's moving. So we'll select this one. That's the one we want. And now we can unselect the wheel and our animation has been repaired and we're getting what we want. Okay, let me show you one more thing. We'll start a new uh, animation. If we want to record uh, a live drawing, what you do is click on this stopwatch icon up here. You can see that the, the uh, help tip says record drawing. We just click it on and we can draw something and then click again to stop and notice that we get a tick mark every time we lifted the pen. So if we wanted to fool around with this we could uh, uh, change the timing between our strokes but we probably want to leave that alone so let's rewind it and see what we've got. Okay, um, K-Sketch takes some practice getting used to. I've tried to show you some of the basics here, but you really have to just fool around with it and you can try some of these other things like changing the speed. Uh, there are some uh, help uh, items that you can access by clicking here. Uh, if you like it, play with it. Uh, that's the only way to learn but I hope what I've showed you here has been helpful.